Hi, my name is Dr. Bradley Boyd. I'm an orthopedic surgeon here in Fairfax, Virginia. I've been in practice here for about 10 and a half years, and my practice is focused on hip and knee replacement, specifically focused on robotic assisted hip and knee replacement. Robotic knee replacements specifically means using some advanced technology to assist with pre playing the surgery to make the surgery more accurate, and then intraoperatively using robotic assistance to execute the pre-surgical plan to give the patient the best optimization for overall alignment, function, and outcome. When we're talking about how effective a knee or robotic knee replacement surgery is, we're really looking at overall functional outcome on the patient side of it which means how well someone does with their overall range of motion, their strength, and their function. And from my experience, robotic-assisted knee replacement just gives a patient the added benefit of optimizing their overall range of motion and strength and functional outcome, with the success rates being anywhere from 95 to 99% compared to conventional knee replacement, where we're looking more at 85 to 90% success rates for how happy a patient is. So we'll start with the disadvantages. The only disadvantage is it does require a patient to preoperatively get a CT scan done of their knee and some slices of the hip and ankle as well. So there is a little bit of radiation exposure to get a CAT scan done. It is a very limited CAT scan for radiation exposure, but it is required to pre-plan the surgery. Otherwise, the advantages are great and allows us to very accurately pre-plan the exact size and alignment of the knee components to that patient's specific anatomy. That way, nothing is oversized or malaligned. And then it allows us to very accurately execute the plan to what we have planned before surgery to really optimize the patient's overall outcome. So the goal for ambulation and walking after surgery is really to get them up walking about two hours after surgery and we do have them use an assist device such as a walker and cane for the first two weeks and after two weeks we have our patients progress from assist device to no assist device all based on their strength with most patients being able to walk without a walker or a cane somewhere in that two to four week period. So recovery after knee replacement in general, I tell every patient, we expect full recovery about 10 to 12 weeks. We expect about 80% recovery by about six to eight weeks. And, and that's looking at the two standard deviations of the patient population. Some patients are on the earlier end and may feel full recovery six to 10 weeks. And some may feel more feel full recovery about 12 to 16 weeks.